injured at work is definitely no fun and it can be incredibly stressful, but not when you hire someone like Ryan Murphy with the Ryan E. Murphy Law Firm. So Ryan, thanks for having us out today. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, absolutely. So today we're talking about something that you said is, is pretty common. Your employer says, hey, you violated a work safety protocol, so now you are not entitled to any compensation at all. Is that true? No, that is not true. Uh, in fact, it, it's something that we see from time to time. I feel like we've seen it more lately, where someone's clearly hurt in the course and scope of their employment. They're injured in an accident while doing their job. And when they start receiving benefits, they start receiving half the benefits that they're supposed to receive with some blanket allegation that they had broken a safety rule. And the reality is, when someone's hurt at work, okay, the law says they shall get these benefits. And the employers have a very uh, specific set of laws that they need to meet to show that there was a safety rule violation and that they can reduce this person's benefits. And I imagine for some of your clients that reach out to you, this can be pretty scary because once their supervisor says, hey, you violated this. I mean, th those are big words that can be intimidating to some people. I, I truly believe that those words are meant to intimidate people into receiving less benefits than they're supposed to receive under the law. Uh, that's why, I mean, I, I couldn't stress more. If that's something that the insurance company or the employer is saying to an injured employee, they need to call a lawyer right away, okay? They need to call someone that knows the legal requirements for an employer or an insurance company to do that to you. All right, so that being said, it seems to me like if I were in this situation, I would probably immediately call you. I don't think that I would wait for them to say, hey, you violated this protocol. I wouldn't wait for that. I would just immediately call an attorney if I get hurt. Well, I prefer to get in the case at the earliest possible opportunity to ensure that it stays on the right track and I can nip those, uh, if someone brings it up, I can squash that down pretty quickly unless it's a they've met the very specific requirements. And so, yes, I prefer to get in earliest, but by the time they've said that to an injured employee, that is most certainly the time. That's a glaring red flag that the claim is not going the way it should go and that they need legal counsel. All right, and if there's ever any doubt whatsoever for any reason across the board, they should still be calling you because you actually provide free consultations. Yeah, we will meet, we will listen to the injured employee, we will meet with them. If we can help them, we will help them. If we can't, you know, we'll let them know we can't and why we can't help them. And so it, it, it is to everyone's benefit to simply give us a call and meet with me for free to find out what we can do for them. All right, and then if somebody does need to reach out to you and get one of those free consultations, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, the easiest way is just pick up the phone, give us a call, 417-888-0000. We'll listen to them, we'll get their information, we'll meet with them personally, and uh, find out if we can help. All right, Ryan, well, thanks for all that great information, and thanks for having us out at your office today. All right, thanks for being here.